Hello and welcome to the next in our series of setting up Symbel to work with the software of your choice. Today we're going to look at the Bell Tower simulator software from www.belltower.co.uk. Note that Bell only has one L in it. Uh, we have purchased the software and it was delivered on CD from Derek Ballard. We installed it on this machine and as it warns us it did take just short of an hour uh, to install with all of the add-ons included. The CD is now been removed and we have left on our desktop the shortcut to the program. So. If we start up, uh, we can get the sensors configured. So as we start up, we're given the option for basic and advanced mode. Basic mode gives us some additional wizards. Uh, we in this case are going to use the advanced mode uh, so that we can show all of the options that you have available. So once the program has started, we have a tip of the day. And then the help file is shown. There is a very good uh, section on the first time installation of sensors. Uh, so you can have a read through that. Uh, but we're going to go through. We then ha have the option of picking a method. We're going to choose plain Bob doubles and click OK. We'll move the striking monitor out of the way and now we can get on with the setup. Now the first thing we have to do is obviously go to the settings and we're going to select sensors. We can also press the F12 key to get this screen up. Now we've got on this machine our Symbel receiver and we've checked in the hardware and that is set to COM port 6. You see down the left there are a list of all of the sensors but the first thing we have to do is select a serial interface. Now we can select the COM port and we can set that to COM6 and you'll see down the left hand side we have bells from 1 to D which would be 16 and on the right hand side we have the delays. Now I've set these to 10 uh, but you can actually adjust those to whatever you need for each of your bells. Uh, we tend to work start at about 250 but for this uh, we'll just set these to some random values. If of course you have more than six bells then you can fill those out uh, as needed. There are other settings in here for switches. So if you have a foot switch, for example, that is connected to another port, you can set that up uh, through this same interface. So we now need to close this and it will give us a message to say that to actually activate the ses sensors, we need to turn on external sensors in the ring options. So if we go to the ring option screen or press F8 and you can see here that we have a start sequence which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, normal rounds. We have the ringer's bell. This is the bell that we want to actually ring when we receive a signal. Uh, so what we'll do, the sensor I have connected is for uh, bell number 1 so we'll put that in and you'll see down at the bottom there is the input mode which has already been set to external sensors. There are other settings in here, but that's enough for us to do what we need. So we are now in a position to ring a bell. I have one of my diagnostic uh, sensors connected, which will ring bell number one. But when we press this, what's going to happen is it's going to load the images that allow the animations to run it does this the first time that you start and at that point it will then ring a bell and you can now see and hear that a bell is ringing and bell number one so that is about 
all there is uh, to setting up Simbel with Bell Tower. Obviously, there are a lot of additional uh, options that you can set within the program, and they're all explained in the help file. So, thank you for uh, watching and listening. We hope this has been useful, and good luck with your ringing.